What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We all know that Samsung offers an amazing application called Enhance X, which is a one-stop AI solution for editing the images on Galaxy phones. We get to edit the images in a lot of different ways on this application, and for a long time, this app did not receive any new features or any new updates. And now Samsung has finally released a brand new update for this application with a couple of new features being added. Now, if you go to the Galaxy store and tap on the update section, you will not see this update anymore anywhere here you will have to go to the enhance x application let me just press and hold on enhance x here i will tap on this eye icon tap on app details in store it will take you to the galaxy store here you will be able to see the update or you can directly go to the enhance x application and tap on the three dot button on the top right corner and you can do that only after selecting a particular image let's say i select this image and here tap on the three dot button tap on about this application if the update is available in your region you will get it right here on the device now let me just show you the update information here you can see the update date is 7th october 2024 which is today and uh, the latest version is 2.1.25 and the size is 200.18 MB. I have already updated this. Let me just show you the change log here. Let's see what is new here. I'll tap on this. And the first one says motion clipper, a new feature to seamlessly create GIFs from your motion photos has been now added, only available in selected models. The second one is experience camera shift in a new way. Camera shift can now be applied to all person and pet images. Select subjects for which camera shift can be applied. Now the camera shift feature has always been there on this application, but now we will be able to apply it to all person and pet images. And then it says tab models can use enhanced X in landscape models and a basic DEX models is what it says. Now let me go ahead and check out all these new changes and features. But before that, let me also show you the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. Let's see if we have got the update on the S23 uh, series here. Let's go to the uh, update section or let's go to the uh, app details in store option. And here you can see we have got the update right here. We will be able to tap on this update to update this particular app, but I'll not update it now. Just in case if I want to show you guys the difference between the previous version and the new version, let's update this later. Now, uh, let me just open Enhance X application. Now here it is showing me an orange dot. Let me tap on this. And you see we have got motion clipper option right here, but this may not be applicable for this particular image because this will work only on the motion images or motion photos that you take on the camera application. You can see the orange dot right here on the top. So this is a new feature, but let me apply this on a motion photo. Let me just quickly take a motion photo and come back to you guys. Okay, now I just took a motion photo. Let me just go back, select picture or video. Let me tap on this motion photo that I have just taken. Now you can see motion clipper is available for this motion photo. Let me just tap on this. Preparing to transform it says. Now it has selected the subject here on this image. You got preview clip option. Select one subject or select all subject option. It says only one subject is detected. And here we got share clip save clip option and on the top we got size and fps we can tap on that to see the uh, sizes here the resolution limit is original uh, 1080 by 1440p if you want to select a uh, lower one you can select the lower resolution here and the original is 30 fps you can lower it to 15 fps as well let me just tap on done here now let's tap on a preview clip here it is we have got a clipped image in gif file created from a motion photo. Basically, this is a clipped subject from the motion photo, which is in GIF format. Now, let me just go back. I will tap on save. And uh, this image has been saved in gallery. Let me just go to the gallery here. This is the GIF image here. Here it says GIF. Let me tap on this. Here it is. We have got the subject moving here on this GIF. And this subject has been clipped from a motion photo. The background has been deleted and only the clipped subject is in GIF format here. Now this is a brand new feature we have got. Now let me just close this. Now let's talk about the camera shift feature that we have. Let me just go back and select an image. Let me just select focus this image here. Where is he? Uh, here we go. Here is. Uh, we have got focus. As you can see on this image, the camera shift feature is available right here at the bottom. Earlier before the update, we could not apply camera shift feature for all uh, the human beings and animals. Now it is available for the animals as well. Let me tap on camera shift. It says lower the camera height for longer legs and a smaller head. Increase it for a longer torso. I'll just tap on continue. You can see before and after effects here. I will uh, slide towards the right, slide towards the left. This is how it looks. And let me just increase it now. This is the camera shift effect we have got 
on this image now. now let me just cancel this the next change we have got here is support uh, for landscape mode on the galaxy tabs uh, i don't have a tab here right now i will be getting the galaxy tab s10 plus i think in a day or two i'll be getting it we will add some contents on tabs also uh, on the channel so uh, if you own a tab there are some interesting contents coming your way so stay tuned for those videos now there is no explanation about what this basic desk models mean maybe the layout of the application has changed a bit let's see uh, i have already taken a video before updating this application on DeX. And this is how the app window looks on DeX. Now, since I've updated it, let me connect to DeX and show you how exactly it looks, if it is the same or if it is in full screen. Let's see that. Now, even after the update, there is no change in the DeX mode. It is in the same window that we are seeing, but on the tablet models, the Enhanced X application can be used in landscape mode now. That is something to note here. This is all about the brand new update we have received for the Galaxy Enhanced X application. Have you got this update? Let me know in the comment section. And I'm not sure how many of you guys are using this Galaxy Enhanced X application. Of course, this is not available on all the Galaxy phones. It is on some of the latest models, some of the flagships only. So if you don't have it, I don't think you'll be able to use it. But if you're using it, drop a comment and let me know what do you think about this application. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phone, a lot of tips and tricks, update videos, etc. So if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening around your Galaxy phones, Android phones, or anything related to tech, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.